Assalamu alaikum YouTube, welcome to a new video, my name is Vaseem and this is my review of the 2020 PG-13 American horror film Come Play. The runtime of this movie is 96 minutes and the director is Jacob Chase. The familiar faces in the film are Gillian Jacobs and John Gallagher Jr who play the parents of the main character. Gillian Jacobs is mostly known for playing Britta Perry in the fantastic TV show Community and she's excellent in it. So funny. It's not dignified. Pizza! 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 Ooh. In my tummy! Me so hungry! Me so hungry! <laughs> John Gallagher Jr. is a recognisable face but I only really remember him from the decent Cloverfield follow-up 10 Cloverfield Lane. He also features in the genre film Underwater from 2019, but that movie is so forgettable I don't really recall him in it at all. The film follows Oliver, a lonely autistic boy who doesn't speak. He relies on his mobile phone for communication and company. This particular night his mobile for some reason offers him a graphic ebook, a story about a lonely monster called Larry. Oliver begins to read and the lights start flickering and then extinguish one by one. Now in the darkness, Oliver barricades the door and hides under the sheets as footsteps approach. Something is banging on the door trying to get in. Oliver screams under the cover as the door busts open. The sheets are pulled away and his mother attempts to comfort the distraught child. The next day, bullies lure Oliver to a field and throw away his mobile phone. We see a point of view from the phone in the long grass as if something is looking out from the screen. His strange father brings him a tablet and the boy runs to his room and begins playing with the selfie filters. In a scene reminiscent of the 2020 Shudder film Host, the tablet sees a face behind Oliver and puts a creepy face on something we cannot see. The next day the story appears again, this time on the tablet and later at a sleepover at Oliver's house one of the other boys begins reading the story. The lights flicker then snuff out. We can see nothing but Oliver looks through the tablet camera and in the corner is Larry. Larry grabs for one of the kids and Oliver's mother who is apparently the deepest sleeper in the world finally appears to see an inexplicable confusion. Slowly Larry makes himself known to Oliver's parents. Larry, the lonely monster, lies behind the windows of the screens we look at every day. And that window will become a door and the monster has chosen the lonely Oliver and intends to take him and cure their loneliness. The rest of the movie, the parents attempt to protect Oliver and we find ourselves in a tumult of lights flickering and going out and all manner of technology being destroyed. So how was it? Honestly, I didn't like this movie at all and was pretty disappointed because the trailer makes the film look great. Every creepy scene felt so familiar and the story makes little sense. The movie started life as a 5 minute short film and you can tell because there is just not 90 minutes of story here. You can find that short film here on YouTube and I will leave a link in the description. Also there were a bunch of jump scares and not a single one landed. As the movie progresses, I felt myself frustrated with the silly decisions being made by the parents. I can see how people unfamiliar with horror might dig this film, because it plays like a more mainstream version of the Babadook. The movie kind of reminds me of the 2003 horror film Darkness Falls with the evil tooth fairy spirit. That film is far better and a more intense PG-13 horror has the sense to race through at breakneck speed, clocking in at about 75 minutes if you take out the credits. Not giving you the time to dwell on the ridiculousness of the whole thing. Darkness Falls also has the similar plot motif where bad stuff happens when the lights go out and it has a bunch of jump scares as well but here they are effectively done and so add to the viewer's enjoyment. One thing in particular I found strange was in the way the film was shot. When Larry is going to appear, the lights flicker and then go out sequentially. How and why, don't ask me. 
the way this was done was to whip the camera to the place where something is going to happen and we wait a few beats and then it does and then it pans to the next thing and then that light would flicker or the street light would go out or the car alarm would go off but the signalling of the event in advance saps the tension out of the scenes and makes it look stagey and orchestrated why wouldn't you use a wide shot and cut to it as it's happening just a strange choice in my opinion it brings to mind the ending of end of days the 1999 arnie film where he stood in the centre of the church and it's just before he gets possessed the dome of the church breaks open and debris falls down and then the pews they start flipping over it starts from the back of the church and in a wave they are all overturned in perfect sequence like dominoes all the way to the front then the stained glass windows light up on either side and in front don't ask me why and then in perfect order they blow out starting from the back and ending in the big window at the front perfectly timed it looks so choreographed and stagey stuff like that pulls me right out of a film and drains the suspense and thrill the moment was meant to elicit okay so the movie's not terrible but i would not recommend it i would just watch the trailer and enjoy that instead it's got the best bits in there anyway i will say to the film's credit the kids were not too annoying which can be a problem and the main actor who plays oliver has a strong Danny Torrance vibe, which was kind of neat. There is also an emotional backstory, which was okay, about the mother trying to connect with Oliver, and it kind of ties up in the ending, giving the climax a bit of weight. The music in the film was unremarkable, and the monster was not that cool. All in all, it was quite a timid and derivative affair. I will rate the film five, uh-huh, out of 10 on the Mason scale. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Well, that was the review. Please let me know what you think. I have been harsh in the film, but that's just because it is trying to be a scary movie. And in that, it has failed miserably to reach that lofty goal. That's the end of the video. And remember, horror lives matter. Thank you for watching. Ciao. Goodbye. You gotta be fucking kidding.